My name is Nakane. I was born in a small town in the Eastern Cape of South Africa called Alice. I grew up in Port Elizabeth and I am an artist. I choose to just call myself a multidisciplinary artist. I'm a musician, I'm an actor and I'm a novelist. The French seem to tell me that I'm a dancer as well, but I'm not a dancer. I'm a person who dances on stage. Everyone in South Africa can dance. You know? I grew up in a very musical family. My mother was a, a trained classical singer. She sang opera and so were her sisters. Actually, my aunt is a classical music um, teacher as I speak, which makes my life as a musician very difficult because they're always sort of critiquing me. But I grew up, my first musical memories are of 60 voices in a room singing traditional choral pieces and Western choral pieces pieces by Mozart and Handel. You know, Messiah was one of my favorite pieces as a child. That's all I knew because my mom was, sang and played that music all the time. So I understood what breath control was and tone from a very young age. And I knew that I could sing from a very young age because my aunt and my mom were always sort of giving me points. Oh, you don't. My mom always says this, you don't just throw your voice, you know, it's not a ball, you know, you, you sing with a particular kind of tone and a particular kind of breath control. So, by the time I was four years old, I understood sort of the techniques of singing. And I, was, I knew that this was something I was going to be doing for the rest of my life. It wasn't a decision, it was just what I was picked to do. Love does not make me clairvoyant. All I know is how to be a servant. Servant. And that's about, that's about, you know love songs is either I love you and I can't live without you or I hate you, you cheated on me, I hope you die. No one seems to write about sort of the middle ground and that lyric was sort of like trying to find the middle ground. I love you but God damn it, you, you annoy me today. Do you know what's the word I use the most in my lyrics recently? And. And I, and I, because one of the things, because when, when, when I write, I, I write in a certain room in my, in, my, in, in my apartment, and I have notes all over the walls like a crazy person. And I remember one of the words in a sort of stick note was and, with ellipsis, dot, dot, dot. Because it's a conjunction, you know, it's a joining word. And I was, it, was, it was interesting to me, when you read the Bible, that the word and is used a lot. And I wanted to sort of conjure that, the, sort of that spirit of joining things together. And a lot of the lyrics in my upcoming album actually start with and. And the reason for that is that I wanted to start in media res, like in the middle of the story, as if, as, as if people are already in the story when the song is started. <laughs> Jesus, for, okay. Uh, emotional. Remembrance. No, 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 scrap that. Memory. Biblical. Central. Touring. I'm so excited to go on tour. I'm so excited to start writing my next book which I already know the story of, but I don't have the courage to sit down and write it, you know? Because it's a heavy one, and it's gonna take a long time. But at the moment, I'm really just concentrating on the music. I always wanted to be a lecturer at a university. <laughs> it's very geeky. But I remember, as sort of a teenager, having this dream of walking sort of the hallways of academia and being an academic. But 
If it doesn't work, that doesn't exist in my life. It is gonna work. 